All right, all right, all right. Let me make sure, Facebook, we are live right now, and I want to make sure that we are live on every one of our platforms, because this is going to be a quick Bible study, but it's going to be a good one. All right, that seems good. All right, Um, so I had a question sent to me asking me about marriage. Now, you know I don't like to deal with this one because a lot of people get offended by what the scripture says. And you know that I don't care about your feelings. I don't care how you or I feel. We take a look at the scriptures and we see what the scripture says. It's too much of this stuff going around where we just gonna go to church and listen to what you or you say And nobody wants to open up the scriptures and see what does the Most High say. That's where my issue is with the church is because you hear a lot of regurgitated stuff, but you don't hear what did the Most High intend. So it was a lady that inboxed me. I'm not going to tell her name. We're going to keep her in her, her, her identity uh, 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 hidden because we're not here to blast out anybody. But if you ask me a question, don't be offended when I say, let's go and see what the scripture says. So now before I continue, I'm going to ask you to please like, share, and comment uh, on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now, a lot of you probably wonder, why do I talk with my eyes closed? Well, when I'm trying to give you words from the Most High, I don't want to be influenced by anybody. I don't want to be influenced by who's watching or who's not watching. I want to give you what the Most High said, and I'm not going to ask you for no offering or no seed offering or no blessing or no type of gift. We're just going to look at the scripture, and if you get offended by the scripture, then you take that up with the most high, okay? Because I'm sick and tired of folk that want to put their mouth on me when I'm opening up the scripture with you and showing you what the scripture says. I'm not coming in here giving you my own twist on nothing You all know me very well. I've been doing this for some years now. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Y'all done seen me teaching since 2021. Okay? So I don't play games when it comes to the scriptures. I'm tired of the churches that are just preaching the regurgitated scam. And this is why we have confusion. Now, this lady invites me about marriage, and she said, I'm tired. When is the Most High going to bless me with a husband? That's what her, her question was to me. Now, I'm going to say to you, first of all, lady, the scripture says you should not be looking for him. Now, if you want to get mad at me, I want you to get your Bible out right now. I'm going to share my screen with you all so you can see the scripture. And we're going to look at what the Most High said in the book. Y'all love that scripture that says that he that findeth a wife finds a good thing. Let me break that scripture down for you. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, and you know I'm going to read it in the Sefer. The Sefer says, Whoso findeth a woman, findeth a good thing. So now let's stop right there. First of all, woman, you are out of place if you are looking. Ah, I know I done made some of y'all mad today. You're mad at Minister Kimball. I don't give a damn. You know how I feel about this. You are out of place if you are looking for a husband because the scripture says that he will find you. So now, 
This separates all of you scams that want to say I'm going to get a divorce because the Most High didn't put me with this person. He didn't put nobody with nobody. The only person that he ordained was Adam and Eve. Go study it out and then get in my inbox and explain to me why you're calling these lies and putting it on the most high. Man, you find your woman, and woman, you are to be selected. That is the way the Most High's order was. I don't give a damn what the TV tells you, what radio tells you, what social media tells you. If you want to follow the Most High and what he said, then this is what the scripture says. Now, I'm tired of y'all folk that want to do defend your scam and defend your lie and make up this and that and oh I, uh, the most high uh, I, I married the one wrong one and oh she pissing me off so I'm going to divorce her. Man if that's your excuse you are a scam and you better not be a preacher saying that to me because if we don't look at the scripture the scripture says that whoso findeth a woman finds a good thing so this is talking to the men. This ain't got nothing to do with you, old man. This is talking to the men. And if you want to look at the King James Version, because that's all you are raised on, well, it doesn't say, old man. It says wife. So that tells me that the man is the one who picks who he marries. Stop putting everything on the most high, just like you like to put everything on the devil. Everything is the devil's fault. No, what about the fact that you don't obey the most high and maybe he puts you on a curse? Maybe your life is cursed because you refuse to obey. How about that? Instead, we want to blame everything on the devil. Oh, the devil messing with my finances. Oh, the devil messing with my marriage. Oh, the devil messing with my life. Oh, the devil messing. Stop telling me the devil got that much power and you claim you got some power from the most high. Where's the dominion that he said he gave you? So if you got power to tread over serpents, then don't you tell me that you've given Satan that much power in your life. Who do you think you, what do you, what, who are you serving? That was the other message the other day. Y'all seen it. Who are you really serving? Because if you're serving the most high, then we got to look at what the scripture says. So I ain't coming down on you, woman. But listen, stop looking for him. Let him find you. It didn't say he got to be going to church, so stop listening to that scam. It didn't say he got to. It said, man, whoso findeth a woman finds a good thing and obtains favor from Yahuwah. So let's not forget about the favor that you get because you picked your woman. Now, favor, let me explain favor to you. Favor ain't always, always on top of the mountain. So when you think, oh, when you say favor, that means I don't ever have a problem. You are out of your mind. How do you think gold is tried? It's tried in the fire. So anytime you think you are blessed, don't you think for one second that there ain't going to be some trials that come along with it. That doesn't mean you are not favored. That doesn't mean that your blessings are on hold. That means you put your armor on, you put your head down, and you follow what the Most High has intended for your life. That's what it means. Stop looking for the mate and let the mate find you. Because that's what the scripture says. We always want to talk about the scripture, but don't nobody want to live by it. Everybody want to talk about it, but don't nobody want to look at it and live by it. Just like the verse before it says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Let me break that down for you. That means if you don't understand that you got power by that little thing in your mouth called tongue, you can speak life or you can speak death. And when you speak death and you love it, you're going to eat the fruit of death. See, they don't give you that side. 
They always give you the sign of the life. But there is death when you speak death in any of your situation. I am the minister here, Mel Kimball. Y'all know I come short and sweet. I want you to like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm not going to keep on begging y'all. I'm going to ask you again. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.